Oh, back again. I want to just show you a neat trick on how you can hold the flywheel in its position whilst you uh, put the piston down into its correct place. See, I'm moving the piston up and down by twisting the, the crank, but the flywheel isn't moving. And all I did was line up the flywheel. This is the uh, uh, about to hope open mark on the cam, on the contact breaker cam. So it's about to open. That's the about to open mark. So you need to get that in your head. That's the point which the contact breaker is about to open. That's fully open. That's just about to open. Okay, so you line that up. You get some tape and you just put a bit of tape on there so it's, it's connecting the flywheel to the back plate and you just make sure you got a good adhesion and then your flywheel won't move look see it's locked so you got no hassle with that now when you're moving the when you're rotating the the crank your flywheel's not moving it's still in the right place see okay so no hassle that keep locking off and then upsetting your timing again and blah 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 that's just a simple method bit of tape lock the flywheel job done it's not moving long and then just set your, your piston to one eighth of the uh, one eighth of an inch before top dead center okay Rotation is clockwise, so turn your crank back one eighth. Okay, one eighth of an inch. Job done. Simple. Thanks for watching.